That heat is pushing air conditioners to their limit. In fact, heating and cooling companies are having a hard time keeping up with demand for all those repairs. Jessica Gill joins us live to explain a uh, kind of weight you may experience with the temperature outside being so hot. Jessica. That's right, 92 degrees outside, Mallory. Not a day that you want to be without air conditioning. But of course, if your home's AC unit does decide to take a dive, you may actually be experiencing days without it. Here's why. We apologize for the inconvenience, but are experiencing high call volume today. We will be with you shortly. We only had to call a handful of heating and cooling companies to find out they're all busy. Uh, compared to other summers, this is probably one of the busiest in the last two or three years. Workers are putting in long hours. 7 o'clock to 9, sometimes even 10 o'clock every single day. Customers are a little hot and bothered. People want service. They want service now. They want cooling now. When it's uh, 90 degrees outside, I mean, people's uh, tendency to have <laughs> uh, patience on you coming out. If it takes two or three days to come out, they're not going to wait. They're going to try to find someone that's going to be able to come like right then. But with the majority of companies averaging about a week long wait for customers, it's essentially the same story everywhere. And many of those customers want to know why. Those in the business say this summer hit hard and it hit fast. It was cool and mild for a while. And then the heat came and uh, people sometimes put off putting their uh, turning their air conditioner on until the last minute and then they all find out at the same exact time it's not working, it's not working as well as it should have been, or it's down. And in order to get it back up and running, it may take patience and a really good fan. I did ask the experts if there were any tips for homeowners to prevent air conditioning failure, and it turns out there's actually a lot you can do. Routine maintenance, that's always good. That should be at the top of your list. Check your batteries, make sure your breakers aren't popped, and keep your AC unit clean. That's one of the biggest things that experts stress. As we all know, these things can be magnets for things like grass clippings, leaves, etc. So. One good thing to keep in mind, keep your unit clean, Mallory. And Jessica, I bet it's a good guess that summer is the busiest time of year for these guys. So were they prepared for this kind of demand? Well, I'm told they always hire additional staff a few months prior to those busy summer months. But again, summer came quick and it came very hard. And I don't think anyone was anticipating that it would be so hot so soon. Thank you. That's Jessica Gill reporting live tonight.